Well, Election Day is five weeks from this Tuesday. Absentee voting is already underway in Minneapolis, where voters will decide, among other issues, a charter amendment that would replace the Minneapolis Police Department. Last week, we heard from Don and Sandra Samuels, a prominent North Minneapolis couple that are opponents of the amendment. This week, we hear from a supporter, State Senator Omar Fateh. He represents the Minneapolis district where George Floyd died. Take a look. And joining us right now, Senator Omar Fateh of Minneapolis. Thank you so much for coming on this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. All right. Last week, we had uh, Don and Sandra Samuels, who are a prominent North Side couple, who are against this charter amendment. You obviously are state senator. You represent the district where George Floyd died. You are for it. Tell us why. Well, um, Minneapolis has produced story after story of police brutality uh, and privilege. And this charter amendment will give us a chance to, uh, to take a new approach to public safety, uh, mainly a comprehensive public health approach that we haven't before. Uh, by building a, a public safety department uh, that has both police as well as professionals that are qualified to deal with complex issues, uh, we can intervene uh, before issues uh, escalate and get out of hand. So um, public safety, if you speak to everybody, will say that yes, we believe it should be for all of our neighbors. It should not exclude people because they are poor or unhoused or if they're black or brown or Latino or in a medical crisis. Well, let me, um, let me ask you, sir, um, about this uh, poll that was taken last week that came out last week. Uh, it's by the Star Tribune, CARE 11, NPR, and also Frontline. And it basically said that 49 to 41 percent people do favor the amendment, so they're with you. But when it broke down in terms of race, it found that 51% of whites polled are for this amendment. They want to replace the, the police department. But when blacks were surveyed, 42%, only 42% said they supported doing away with the police department. 47% were against it. Do you think this poll is wrong, or are they saying something that there's a difference between white and black voters, how they look at this? Well, I think that there has been a, a misinformation campaign about what the Charter Amendment really is. Um, it is not going to defund or abolish anything uh, or uh, the police. Um, I think that people, if you speak to all of our neighbors here in the city, they want their neighbors to feel protected and safe, whether they are uh, a black, indigenous, uh, Latino, um, whether they are homeless, they want everyone to feel safe and secure. And I think uh, having a new public safety department uh, coupled with both police as well as uh, qualified professionals, um, folks will feel more safe. And right now, the entire the entire nation is watching our city. We have the opportunity to meet this moment and enact meaningful change or do nothing. Well, you're absolutely right. Everybody is watching Minneapolis. I do want to ask you about one other thing from that survey. 75% uh, of black voters surveyed said they want more officers, and that's compared with... Um, 51 percent who of whites who wanted more voters more more officers so the support in the black community seems to be for police officers is that what you're seeing uh no once again there has been a misinformation campaign about what's what this charter amendment means when you when we speak to black voters and all voters uh about what this would look like how we were going to uh diversify the staff and have uh, more qualified professionals under our public safety department more folks than not are for it, but right now we're being held back by uh, a minimum chart, a minimum officer requirement that forces us to hire uh, armed okay. officers at the expense of other qualified professionals. Okay, that and, are and and I know that supporters of the amendment take issue. They do feel that this defunds the police department. One of the issues here is we don't know what's going to happen after the charter vote. Uh, the charter language says, if necessary. So you think there would be officers on the streets of Minneapolis if this charter amendment passed? Absolutely. There would be a police department uh, under a public safety department, and we we'll still have a police chief. Um, it's just that we know that police officers are not required or not needed to respond to every single call. Um, so I think that if we have uh, a new system in which, for example, uh, a, a young uh, a young child with autism is having a mental breakdown. Um, we can have a qualified professional there and not an armed officer. Uh, I think that's the right approach to take. Okay. Well, Senator Omar Fateh, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate your input this morning. Thank you so much for having me.